Here's a five second summary of my day. And here's a 10 minute, 30 second summary of my day. This is very real footage of me waking up for the first time. I already snoozed like three times. I already snoozed like three times. Fuck me. First thing I do is check the TikToks my friends send. I normally don't actually watch most of them. Hey, what's up guys? As I said earlier in the video when I just woke up, I'm kind of tired today. Kind of feeling like shit because you know it's allergy season. Gotta take, gotta remember to take my allergy meds actually. And so like, we're not going to be doing anything fancy today, we're going to try to keep this video simple, you know. No transitions or anything. Except for that one probably, but that one was an exception. And uh, we have to go into lab pretty soon to just go do some cell work. We're preparing to do like an IP, immunoprecipitation, today, tomorrow, and Tuesday, so yeah. Breakfast, I'm probably gonna have a couple of these chips and a glass of water. My kitchen's pretty well stocked for like lunch and dinner. I have like meats. I buy vegetables and stuff, you know what I mean? Good nutritious. It's just I don't normally eat breakfast, but I'm a tiny bit hungry right now, so I'm probably just gonna eat some like snack food. And I'm also gonna keep I also keep like one or two high chews on me just in case I feel like I need a little bit of sugar later. So yeah. It's not the best, but I don't even consider this breakfast. I just consider this a snack before I start my day, so yeah. Okay, we're outside now. Whoops, that was another transition. Next one will cost you 10 cents, but we're on our way to lab now. It's pretty close by. Here's the view. It's kind of mad weird to record yourself outside, but it's a good thing I'm like one of the only people on the street right now. I think. Now, here's a little tour of the lab. These are the benches, here's the imaging room, and this is the cell room. Now, the first thing I do is take out my media and I warm it up. Then, I check my cells to see how they are. Currently, I'm working with two cell lines. Now, today I'm going to be splitting my cells into more plates. First, you sucky sucky out the media. Then you add some PBS. Then you suck that out too. You add some trypsin to get the cells loose. This is what the cells look like when they're loose. Then you add new media to the cells. You mix it evenly. You add that to new plates. And then you add enough media to each new plate. This is all pretty simple. They don't give me the most complicated tasks to do that are hard because they're scared I'm going to discover too much new science stuff. And here's the hood setup. I mean, so we finished the cell work portion of the day pretty early. Collection takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to be getting lunch before that. So normally I try not to eat out that much, but during like long days in lab when I don't have time to make lunch, I, I have to make do. This is the view. It's something. Back in lab, got my lunch. It was kind of hard to find a halal cart that was open today, you know, but we did. Now, normally there's three or four other people in lab, like two grad students, a lab tech, stuff like that, but today's a Sunday, so no one's in. But 
I just wanted to get my cell, my uh, experiment going pretty early, so that's why I'm here today. But normally I'm not here most Sundays. I'm so it looks like yeah, I'm gonna watch some One Piece while uh, while I eat. After lunch, we're gonna run that IP, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm no expert at doing this, but I've done it a handful of times, so I somewhat know what's going on. But after this, after this time that we do it together, you're gonna know how to, you're gonna be an expert at this. You can come to this lab and do it yourself. Now, in lab, there's a lot of labor. Today, we're gonna be collecting ourselves. Now, first, you wash with PBS, then you scrape the cells and pour it into this little tube. Pouring into the tube stresses me out every single time. Now after you've done that, you want to spin your cells in the centrifuge. Then you label more shit. You make your lysing solution which breaks up the cell. Then you suck out the liquid from the cell. Then you add the lysing solution and you mix. Transfer that into a small tube. Then I wait a bit, spin that down again. Now the protein is in the liquid part which I put into new small tubes. Then I add some of the liquid to a master mix to find the protein concentration. So we're coming somewhat towards the end of what we have to do with the cell collection stuff. So yeah, there's there's a lot of free time like in between all the things you have to do, you know. Now after labeling more shit, I have to calculate how much of the liquid and buffer to use. Then I add the lysates, some buffer, and the antibodies and rotate overnight. Okay, our sample is now spinning overnight. Technically, we should be done for the day, so yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning up and just doing one final round to see if there's anything I missed around here. Okay, so just finished up in lab. It's around four o'clock and I'm gonna go back and try to maybe watch like 14, 15 episodes of One Piece today. And then, uh, yeah, I still have to make dinner for myself, so that's a little bit annoying, but yeah. In a rare once in a while, I'll, I'd say maybe like two or three times a week, I'll actually work out or exercise after going to lab, but today is not one of those days. Now 80% of the days I'll take a nap, and after the nap I'll watch some One Piece, and then some more One Piece, and then even more One Piece. I just woke up from a nap some pork belly here but I'm not gonna show you how I cook it because if you wanted to watch someone cook just go watch Gordon Ramsay but I will show you what I've cooked I just finished cooking dinner we have here a little bit of uh, twice fried pork belly bok choy and rice and I'm gonna be watching we also have this uh, I call it the golden elixir of youth and so we're gonna be watching some more One Piece and eating dinner. And then after dinner, the schedule is just watch more One Piece. So yes, a lot of One Piece for a day. Now after dinner, I'll watch some more One Piece and when I'm bored of that, I'll try to edit or script a video or do whatever I'm in the mood for. Some days I play piano, some days I take a long walk, bike ride, really anything I'm in the mood for. Anyways, that's how I spend most of my days currently, nothing crazy. And anyways, as always, if you like that, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Alright, 
right, so I have here with me the gel that I actually ran today. This is the second part of what I was actually prepping for yesterday. You can see here, it looks like, it looks like this. Kind of cool, kind of cool, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, so I'm just gonna make it my little like pet, you know. I'm gonna put a little smiley face on it. I'm just gonna put it here on my large pile of monsters that I haven't thrown out yet. <laughs> 